Earlier uh, in the program, about an hour ago, we talked to Brigadier General Craig King at ISAF at Kandahar City. Uh, Canadian Brigadier General, Director of Future Plans, Regional Command South, talking about the, uh, the operation in Helmand with the Brits, Americans, the Afghan Army. And he talked about Kandahar, and Kandahar, again, is going to be the focus of, uh, well, the pointy end of the stick, as he said, come this summer. And I think when we think about Afghanistan, we think about this country's military commitment there, the tremendous bravery of our soldiers, the sacrifices they have made, and the big prices some of those families have paid. And we talk sort of in an abstract way about, well, there's also reconstruction going on, there's other stuff going on, so yeah, whatever. And, and, and then we talk about the military again. Well, it's the whatever that's not getting covered. The whatever is incredible. Um, I'm going to tell you a story about the Afghan Canadian Community Center, ACCC. We're getting a line through to Afghanistan now. It's been a bit difficult. It's been noisy. Uh, This is a school in Kandahar. Had a graduation ceremony some in November and December of last year. 140 female students from ACCC graduated. That's just part of what this school is doing. It has grown from very humble beginnings with the development of uh, the school through uh, the help of, obviously, Canadian donors, volunteers, CEDA, International Development Agency, uh, the support of everybody that's there in Kandahar, but also a connection back to Canada, a direct connection with SAIT, the Southern Alberta Institute of Technology, SAIT, gives some degrees to some graduates of this school. And in fact, some of the diplomas from these graduates um, are signed by the Prime Minister of Canada, which, which by, based on what I'm hearing from some of the students, is incredibly important. We're going to get to uh, the director of the school uh, in one second. Also joining me quickly, though, um, is a part of the whole school. Uh, is here. Uh, Ryan, are you there? Yes, I am. Thank you. Okay. Ryan Aldred is with us. Uh, Ryan, are you in Ottawa? Yes, I am. Okay. Ryan Aldred is part of the development of this school. We've got the director on the other line. I think we just got him. Ryan, first of all, before I get to him, what is the, what's the Canadian educational connection here? Well, uh, Canadian education is very well respected in Afghanistan. And so um, when we first started supporting the Afghan Canadian Community Center, one of the things we really wanted to do was create that connection um, between schools in Canada, several of whom um, had expressed an interest in getting involved, uh, and the students in Kandahar. And uh, what we've seen is there's just been a a tremendous impact from these courses. Um, Many of the students who are enrolled with uh, the Southern Alberta Institute of Technology they find that uh, they're actually hired on before they even finish their first course just mm-hmm. because of that vote of confidence in saying, you know, you can study at a Canadian post-secondary institution. Is, so that, what some really of these, is that what's going to happen to some of these kids? They're going to come over here? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, they're okay. actually studying online. They're studying right. online um, with SAIT. Uh, the Internet connection that we have in Kandahar oh, amazing. is, yeah, it, it's you know, the same as any Canadian student could study uh, a correspondence course online with SAIT. That's what these students are doing in Kandahar. Ryan, I'm going to put you up here on hold. Ryan Aldris, President of Canadian International Learning Foundation. Uh, joining us also on the line, uh, Asanullah Asan, Director of the Afghan Canadian Community Centre in Kandahar. Mr. Asan, thanks for joining us. Can you hear me all right? Apparently uh, not. Yes, I can hear you, but the man is not really clear, but I, uh, I can hear you. Excellent. All right. Uh, tell us about the the school, how it evolved. I understand it started with just a handful of students. How many are there now? Um, there are uh, currently some uh, 1,300 students are studying at the school, um, half of them uh, women. And what kind of courses are they taking? They are taking uh, business classes, uh, business management, uh, computer sciences, English language, uh, math, classes, and the civic courses, and uh, courses in, uh, in man- different uh, kinds of management, like project management, leadership, human resources, um, subjects that could lead them to, to jobs. Uh, actually, these are uh, the, the, 
subjects that are taught, which are more job oriented in Kandahar, uh, within Kandahar organizations. Uh, the fact that half of them are women is obviously uh, incredible. These women must be, what, would you label them as pretty brave for what they're doing? Well, uh, definitely yes, because um, yeah, we have been working uh, in an area which is uh, deeply conservative, and there are many cultural restrictions uh, on women studying, working, especially in, uh, in subjects like uh, uh, management courses, computer sciences, and English language. Uh, so in these areas, uh, there are quite uh, uh, lots of problems for women bring to to schools that, uh, especially like the Afghan Canadian Community Center, uh, which in common the people do believe that it is uh, more disciplined, more efficient, and more effective. Um, however, there are also uh, certain threats to to schools like like, like us, yes. the Afghan Canadian Community Center. Uh, but again, the girls are, are, are uh, really grabbing, uh, coming to classes and uh, taking courses and then getting poverty skills and then going uh, to taking jobs. Have there been any um, attacks against your school or against the students there? No, we have not had uh, uh, very eminent uh, attacks, uh, but again, there have been attacks on uh, students, uh, um, there have been uh, um, teachers, uh, students have been threatened, yes. but uh, we have not experienced uh, uh, an imminent attack uh, um, uh, directly on the school. Um, stand by, if you could, one second. I'm going to just uh, put you on hold, and Ryan as well, Ryan Aldred, uh, both with us, uh, talking about the evolution of this incredible school, now 1,300 students, half of them women. Think of how incredibly important that is.